Hello everyone, this is Nazim Chagla again with you. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Fit for Life by Nazim. You must be wondering why I'm sitting in front of a horse. Horse is a beautiful animal, it's the most faithful animal. We have been using horse to go from one place to another for hundreds of years. We have been using it for, uh, for traveling, you know, and we have been, uh, and even today we define horse as a symbol of power. These days we are driving beautiful cars and we define the strength of our car by saying it has got 200 horsepower or it has got 400 horsepower. So horse is a symbol of power. We don't say lion power or elephant power, we say horsepower. So horse is considered a symbol of power. Now why I'm saying that? Because in yogic science, you have seen that uh, in yoga we do lots of poses like a cat pose, a dog pose, a camel pose, a snake pose, and when we do these poses, we derive lots of benefit from that. Uh, but a lot of people have not really, you know, sort of uh, encouraged uh, doing this horse, the actions of horse, I guess because probably it's a little delicate subject and people are a little shy uh, to come out on TV and talk about uh, the Ashwini Mudra or the Kegel exercise, which we call, uh, which the horse performs. This, by doing this exercise, you actually strengthen your pelvic muscles. Now you'll say, why would you like to strengthen your pelvic muscles? See, pelvic muscles is used to control your urination. Plus, pelvic muscles also does a lot of other benefits, like for young ladies who cannot conceive, the pelvic muscles is good for them. For young men who are a little physically, from uh, the male point of view, they are weak, it strengthens their pelvic muscles. And this is especially good for seniors. Now, why seniors? Because when you age, your pelvic muscles becomes weak. You know, you have seen lots of ladies also. It's not only men. Ladies also, once they cross 60 or 65 years of age, they rush to the washroom wherever they can find one because their pelvic muscles have become weak. And men usually have this problem more than women. After the age of 50, their uh, prostate in uh, gland, uh, you know, sort of uh, swells up and they have frequent reurination and once they grow older, like they grow 70, 75, then they can't even hold their urine and their urine drops, you know, starts dripping. And this becomes very embarrassing and men, you know, sort of are sort of arrogant or you can say um, uh, sort of conscious people. So sometimes they don't disclose to their wife or to their friends and uh, they are shy to discuss this, uh, this problem. So Ashwini Mudra, or Kegel is the best way to resolve that. Now, how do you perform this? It's a very simple way. You can either sit in a cross leg position or you can lie down with your uh, knee above or you can stand, try and see which way is possible to do this one. Now, what you have to do simple is, you see, if you notice a horse, after the horse passes the stool, what it does is it sort of sucks his anus his bathroom place in, inwards. And the place where he urinates, he pulls that inwards too. So simultaneously, both the parts he pulls in, he releases them. Pulls it, releases them. Same way we have to perform this exercise. And if you notice horse, it does it throughout the day. Many, several times a day, it does that. And it gives it immense power. You know, horse, you will never see horse sleeping or going on the floor. It's always standing, always alert. And it is, really really very strong and powerful and if you do this thing you will not only sort of uh, make your pelvic area strong you yourself will become very strong too so sit or stand or do whatever way you feel comfortable and you pull in your you know uh, your anus your place where you perform your bathroom from instead of pushing out you are pulling in same way the urine place you are pulling in so both the things you are pulling in you let it go so you perform 20, 30 times, go slowly, release it, pull in, slowly release it. After you have done 20, 30, depending upon how strong you are, then the last 10, 5 or 10, you do for at least 10 seconds hold. So you take a deep breath, pull in both the muscles, and then you 10 seconds hold it and let it go. Pull in and then let it go. Perform this few times. You can do it in the, if your problem is more, you can do it in the morning, you can do it in the evening, twice a day, or you can do it only in the morning. 
Now, whenever I give any tips of exercise or yoga, usually your stomach should be empty because that's the best time to do breathing exercise or to weight training or free and exercise. You should have at least eaten three, four hours before uh, you perform any physical activity. There are many things that I want to share with you, whatever I have learned uh, through, my, through my studies. And this is one thing that I thought I should share with you to all my senior friends. Of course, I'm also a senior. And uh, I hope that this will really benefit you. Please do it for a couple of months. In, in a couple of weeks, you will feel uh, the difference. And I hope this will be beneficial to you until uh, we meet again. Thank you very much and have a good night. Bye for now.